Today, I am so excited to share with you an operation by Mini Rejects. This is our main task force, main Mini Rejects. Also, we have some openings in all of them. The tags are down below. You guys can come and join us. I'll, I think I'll probably be kind of walking through the different task forces, kind of stopping at one, moving on to another for a short period of time. Today, I'm going to show you this one. We're incredibly proud of my task force for completing Forlorn Hope. If you don't know how these operation videos go, Basically, I, oh, also there's Remote Hack, which definitely plays into beating Forlorn Hope. It's an insane ability. Very, very helpful for operations. Basically, I watch the attack from my task force member, and then I rank it on a scale from 1 to 10 based on how good I think it was. Um, and I'm a little confused at why they went right side for this base. That's the only thing I would say. Besides that, good Everspark Walk. Gonna have to give it like a 6 out of 10. I'm also pretty uh, pretty mean in some of my ratings sometimes. So hopefully we don't get too mean and rate them a little too harshly. Not mean, harsh is what I was trying to say. But not only am I insanely proud of this task force for beating Forlorn Hope, I'm also incredibly proud of Mini Rejects 2, which is our um, kind of like our feeder for this. Our feeder, oh, interesting combination. So now you can get away with one shock. Um, oh, this was such a beautiful hit. Oh my gosh. I freaking love that hit. That's a 10 out of 10. Soloing Ransom. Granted, it was a pretty easy Ransom. Not even a hot beach. But that was a really good hit. Loved how they used Bullet and Haunt to defeat that base. Gonna have to give that base or that attack a 10 out of 10. That was so good. Probably one of the better attacks I've seen in a very long time. I used to see that type of attack a lot, but I don't really uh, see that anymore. Okay, I'm interested to see what they do. Since we have remote hack, okay, I was going to say I would hack the microwaver. Also hacking the shock launcher. Remote hack makes everything so much easier. But yeah, my mini rejects to beat dead end. I got a ton of requests from them to make a video on that task force or that operation. I'm not going to be able to do that. But this is good enough. My main defeating Forlorn Hope is honestly a, such a crazy feat. Again, I know that the success of defeating Forlorn Hope is very much um, because we had remote hack. But um, I just really am really, really glad we finally beat it. It's an operation I never thought we'd beat. Also, the last player going to have to give them like a 7 out of 10. Not the best walk up kind of lost some troops on the way up this attack a little late on the shocks besides that they were able to get to the core but to be fair a dioxin walk up is super super easy in my opinion give that attack like a six or seven out of ten this attack a zero out of ten sorry <laughs> lost connection probably not on purpose hopefully it's not on purpose so this is vang a base that I really don't like. Probably one of my least favorite bases. Just dropping remote hack on some of the rocket launchers. Um, very nice, because now the rocket launchers won't take down his grenadiers or bombardiers, and he can just walk up the right hand side. He has some scorchers down. Not a huge fan of scorchers and operations. It's, it's okay though. They're not dying as fast as I thought they would die. Really good attack. Able to clear a lot of the base. Almost able to take down the shield generators a little late on that last shock or maybe he just got enough energy for that last shock Gonna have to give that attack probably like an 8 out of 10. I would say it's a really good open for Vang um, I don't really know how much more I can ask for so this is the level 53 Coming in and attacking dioxin guys this player just took down some mines. You don't have to clear mines for Dioxin, the only mines you have to clear are if there are mines, what is this, is if there are mines up here, kind of like right in front of these boom cannons, those are the only mines you have to clear. Besides that, if you have Brick and AZ, Brick will clear the mines on her walk up. Now I guess there might be some boom mines sprinkled in there, but for the majority of the walk up, you should be able to use Brick to clear mines. Not the walk you want to do when you attack Waterloo. There's a very, or a Dioxin. There's a very specific walk you need to do. You need to drop a flare right above this back cannon. Um, 
and you can walk straight back. Gonna have to give that a tie, probably like a four out of 10. Not knowing that walk up really, really hurts. It's such an easy walk once you know the little trick. Here is Destroyer attacking Vang. Okay, main goal, I think, is to take down the shield generators and not able to do that. Definitely should have dropped smoke on the walk up. Gonna have to give that attack probably like a three out of 10. Really did not like that attack. Um, probably should have just smoked his troops up there and brought some heavies to tank for the rocket launchers. Okay, here's another dioxin hit. Hopefully this player does the little magic walk. Perfect, the first flare and then the second flare right above the cannon. That's the walk you wanna do. Some troops peeking, that's okay. Getting right back. Now they're all gonna clump, get those shocks down. Very nice hit, a little sloppy, but I mean, what more can you ask for? Able to get the job done, so it doesn't even matter. Gonna have to give that attack probably like an eight out of 10. Not the hardest hit we'll see today, but definitely good finishing it up and not taking more attacks to take down that base. Honestly, at this level, that type of dioxin it should be a two to three hit maximum. It really should not take more than two to three attacks to take down a dioxin. I mean, top task forces require solos in a lot of these. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, Waterloo. You know, there is a Waterloo walk up as well. You need a little bit of energy to pull it off. Um, but when this player took down some of those power cells, it kind of messes up the start of the walk, but I mean, this player should, oof, okay. Getting right up above the core. That's where you drop the last flare in the walk. Able to take down such a good part of the base. You know, it's hard because they definitely needed the extra energy at the beginning. It really helps out, but it kind of um, throws some people off later when they're attacking this base, but it's definitely not needed. So the first flare you want to drop kind of like right in this area, and then the second flare you just drop it right back there. Your troops will follow a nice little walk. Your hero should break a mine, so your troops shouldn't get hit by mines, or they might take one mine, but you really don't need to drop multiple flares on the way up unless your flares expire. So it was, it was all right. Probably like an 8 or a 7 out of 10. It wasn't the worst attack on that base I've seen. I've seen some really bad attacks. And honestly, it took down probably like 60-70% of the core HP, which is really good. So I don't really know how much more I can complain on the matter. I mean, they did a good job. They did a very good open. It should be one more hit to take down the last base. Okay, this base mans is just going with rocket choppers we also had rocket choppers at the time of this operation which makes it very convenient when they're taking down this base i would have personally loaded up with all rocket choppers and just hit the beach take down the shock launcher and then um take down the flame maybe you know i'm not the biggest fan you should have flared to that you should have flared to that shock launcher you you really that was a choke definitely should have flared to that shock launcher i'm really disappointed they didn't do that so i'm gonna have to give that attack a five out of ten or a four out of ten i am pretty disappointed slash agitated they didn't flare to the shock launcher you know the mortars needed to go down but the shock launcher had to go down that attack I mean, we beat the op, so it really didn't have to go down that attack, but you know what I mean. I would not have sacrificed... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't really know what this player is doing. Oh, was he barding? I think he was probably just barding down the core. I need to see this. Okay, they weren't barding down the core. They're clearing mines, but that doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna have to give that attack like a 1 out of 10. I have no clue what they were trying to do, but that was not it. That was not a good attack. Okay, here's another player, or the first player, to open up Titanic. Okay, let's see what he does. Let's see what Jay does. So, flaring, perfect flare first. Kind of regrouping. Flaring down good not too much walk out shocks out on time well, i don't know how much more you can ask for if someone solos titanic good job to them usually there are more mines in this area i don't remember if they dropped the barrage but that's a 10 out of 10 that's a good solo honestly if any of these players solo a base 
I'm going to have to give them a 10 out of 10. No matter how sloppy their attack is, soloing a forlorn hope pace is not an easy feat, and good job to them. No clue what this player is doing. That rocket launcher did not have to go down. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So, I don't know if they were just like preparing for a in their retreat. Okay, zero out of ten. Not what you should be doing for Waterloo. Finally, someone to come through. I think what they were doing to that player's defense. I think what my task force was trying to do is to clear the splash so that a player can come up and bart down the core. I want to see what level that last player was because if there were a low level, I mean, what more can a low level do without going on like a full boost? Because, I mean, it takes a lot of energy to pull off a Waterloo hit, but it is possible. I mean, we saw someone do it earlier. So to that player's defense, I'm going to have to up it to like a 2 out of 10, the last player. I mean, okay, I'm going to bring it back down to 0 out of 10. You should have dropped all your troops no matter what. You're doing an operation attack. You should have dropped all your troops. That's the end of the story. Okay, but the player... But the player that just finished it, I mean, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I mean, you can't really go wrong with just dropping bombardiers and parting down the core. There's really not much more you can do. There's really no skill to it, so that's kind of why I gave that, that score. Okay, definitely should not have brought rocket choppers to an attack in Forlorn Hope. Um, the only exception is if a base has defenses that won't die or that won't hit flying troops but i mean i'm gonna have to give that attack probably like a four out of ten i don't really know they're just clearing the beach it looks like i mean these are hard bases you have to clear the beach i'm a little interested to see what this player does i kind of wish the first player that attacked this base took down these four rocket launchers instead of um yeah i guess the first player dropped remote hack and took down the back ones and then these two which was a good hit but i probably would have liked to see the beach taken out just because a hot beach is really hard for people who aren't very skilled with az um this player did fine but that's just something to keep in mind i would say so i mean i'll have to give this attack probably like a six out of ten it was a decent attack i'm a little messy on the start and on the walk up but i mean was able to get a decent part of the back base taken out. So yeah, six out of 10. Here is another player to attack Titan, okay? Hacking the shock launcher, not quite able to take it out, took it out without too much damage, which I am very happy to see. That could have been really, really bad if that was not taken out. Okay. You know, if you're gonna bring um, a troop combination to do a clear like this bring hookah don't bring all zookas if I mean this base has a ton of splash you need something to counter that splash Everspark is not going to be enough I'm gonna give that attack probably like a 6 out of 10 I really liked how they saved the rocket launcher fire or I mean the shock launcher from hitting um, oh, also iron will on an op attack I don't know about that I probably would have brought bullet taunt and then taunted in that circle that would have been really nice. All the rocket launchers would have been hitting Bullet, and they all your Scorchers would not have been taking this much damage. But, I mean, it looks like they'll be able to take down all of the rocket launchers, which is what this first attack should be able to do. If they can take down the Mortars also, that would be really, really good. Okay, and I'll flare over to the Mortars. Perfect. Perfect. This is what I like to see. Someone that's on my wavelength. Okay. Now... Ideally, they wouldn't take down a lot of these power cells, but I mean this was such a good attack Okay, now they are taking down the power cells. Are they taking are they spending energy on anything? I think they were they're barting down that back laser beam Beautiful attack nine out of ten. I really liked that open Very nicely done not only using all scorchers. I mean that must have required a full boost. Yeah, now using not only using all scorchers to absolutely wreck that left hand side, but also barring down the laser beam in the back, almost to the point where it's taken out. Okay, so we have David coming up from the bottom, bringing bombardiers, which is the perfect combination to take down these 
these um, shield generators. Beautiful attack so far. Very, very nicely done. Again, not really an attack that takes a ton of skill. So I'm going to have to lower the ranking just because of that. I like reserving super high ratings for people who have attacks that require a ton of skill and are just well performed. Um, so I'm going to have to give this attack probably like a... Um, a 8 out of 10 I would say. It was a good attack. I mean they cleared a ton of the base. They were able to bark down another one of the laser beams in the back. So very nicely done. Okay so we have Jonathan coming up from the left hand side bringing tanks, bombardiers, Everspark and medics. The tanks to tank damage from the rocket launchers. I think he actually lost a few bombardiers by the rocket launchers. I could be wrong but that's what it looks like and getting to the back. Honestly, at this point, I really wish someone would have um, hacked one of these on one attack and then someone else on the next attack to hack this one and then just get Scorchers in the back to clear that area and just hit the core. I mean, I think it probably would have took like two attacks, but we really don't have to clear this entire area. I wasn't a huge fan of that attack. They really didn't do too much on the base. So I'm gonna have to give. So I'm gonna have to give that attack a five out of ten, probably five out of ten. Okay. Here we go. Oreo, it's hitting Cooker. I think we have a core hit coming up. Bring some Scorchers. They're doing the Shock Mine hit. So oh, but they lost. <laughs> oh no, that's honestly so sad. And I think they forgot to take down that laser beam or something. That's really, really sad. They lost a ton of Zookas on the way up, or he lost a ton of Zookas on the way up. I mean, it's hard not to give him any credit because it's a tough hit as heck. I've actually never done... No, I did do a Cooker hit one or two times like that. A Cooker core hit. I'm okay. Zero out of ten again. I'm sorry, but that was a pretty bad attack. I've done cooker hits before. Actually, I like I kind of like what he was trying to do, and he's not the highest level, and it wasn't even, and this player wasn't even boosted, so I'll have to give him like a two out of ten. But yeah, the cooker core hit probably like a six out of ten. It's a hard hit. It's a very tough hit. Yeah, just shocking your Scorcher and then trying to retreat down to the core. It's insanely tough and it's not for the faint hearted. Okay, flaring to the core. This player is just going all in, dropping only five shocks. That's really not that bad. Taking down Cooker, very nice attack. Probably like a eight out of 10. I mean, it wasn't the hardest, just dropping down shocks on time and getting that walk up nailed. It's very nice enough. Okay. Not liking how they hacked the mortar. The shock launchers I feel like are a bigger deal than the mortars. I'm excited to see what they do though. They might be trying to gain this corner. That would be a strat if they do. Oh no, they're doing a shocking hit. Oh, look at that. I don't know why they would hack the mortars though if they're just gonna taunt anyway. Interesting. Gonna have to give that attack probably like a 7 out of 10. It was solid. Took down a bunch of the core. Here's another player hitting Titan. Titan should not have taken this many hits. But guys, I know I'm being harsh on some of these players. I'm so proud of this task force for beating Forlorn Hope. Also, please join our task forces. Click the link down below if you want to join. That would be super hype. That would be super hype. Um, we're trying to get more members and do better attacks. So um, if you want to grow in your operations, just join one of our three task forces. Okay, that attack wasn't the strongest. Gonna have to give that player, the last player that attacked a like five out of 10. Okay, here's Elite Rampage. Guys, we are coming up on two, 22 minutes, but I don't even care because my freaking task force beat Forlorn Hope. I'm so excited, I'm so proud. Now, I wasn't in the task force when they beat it. Okay, they finally, that's what the person should have done earlier when it was just a shield hit. Just take down the shields and then everything else it's okay. Smoke your tubes there. Decent hit, like a six out of 10. 
Okay, we uh, did some sabotage. Here is Duncan coming in, or Dunk Clan, coming in and attacking Vang again. So many players attacked Vang. Flaring under the core. Good so far. It's a hard walk. That angle is not easy. Um, yeah, kind of bad park. I don't know. That was, I mean, the angle is hard, but the walk um, could have been a lot better, and the park could have been a lot better, and they kind of misplaced shocks and stuff. So, you know, I'm going to have to give that last attack a um, 4 out of 10, I would say. This is kind of what I was saying. If we had the two shock launchers shocked or taken down with remote hack, we could have defeated this base by not using like 10 attacks on it. It was very close, this attack. Um, it would have been so much better if the shock launchers were down. I mean, that's just me being a little picky. Gonna have to give that attack probably like a six out of 10 again. Here we go. Here's Professor dot or K dot O. Also, I should mention, I mentioned this last time. Please tell me the average ranking I give my task force. We can kind of rank the operation that way. So add them all up, give me the average, and the first person that does it, I'll like pin your comment or hearts it. Very nicely done, just finishing it up. But I, I'm not gonna give that attacker ranking, so just leave that out of the average because you're literally just doing a core hit, and I have no clue how to rank that because it does not take skill to do that kind of attack, the attack that we just saw. But someone has to do it, so thank you for doing it. Okay, shocking, hitting the core, finally taken out. Gonna have to give that attack an eight out of 10. It's always nice to just see a base drop and not seeing any stupid little mistakes. Okay, we just have Alamo left. I'm really trying to speed through this as fast as possible. Taunting on the landing, what is this? I've never seen this before. Oh my gosh, that's kind of smart, I guess. <laughs> that was good. Wow, I've, I've literally never seen that before. I really like that. That was a solid open. I, I don't know what to say. I also don't know what to rank. Uh, I'm also not going to watch the rest of this attack. They're just going to keep hitting the defenses on the left-hand side. I've never seen that before, so because of that new mechanic, question mark, um, I'm gonna have to give that attack probably like a seven and a half out of 10. Okay, Max Mag coming up, hitting this base with bombardiers, tanks, and bullets, probably energy drink. Okay, I don't know how I feel so far. It, I mean, it's going well. If these boom cannons can drop, it's an easy hit. You just clear the shields. If the boom cannon, okay, so the flare to the boom cannon, you should flare up probably above the core. Probably shouldn't try to take down the shield generators, but that one's okay to take down because it's kind of on the edge and you were able to get away with it. I think, okay, flaring to the next one, but I mean, it's working, so that will be nice to have less shields. Um, but there's just so much shield on this base. I probably would have cleared a park by taking down the sniper tower. I know they wouldn't have been able to, but I mean, good attack, eight out of 10. Okay, Wakanda, he wanted me to tell you that this attack was a mini fail by him. So it's okay, guys, don't be too harsh on him. So hacking the sniper tower didn't quite work out, but you know, when you have that many bombardiers, it's okay. I don't really know why he said this was... Oh, that's why he said this was a fail. <laughs> he didn't mean to, guys. But because of that, I'm going to have to give his attack a 3 out of 10. I know he didn't mean to. I think he probably could have beat the base then. But it sucks. That just sucks. It's a sucky situation, but I'm not going to be nice and give a high rank because of it. It's still a fail. Okay. Commander is hitting the base. I'm not going to watch that whole attack. I'm going to have to give that attack a 3 out of 10. That's literally the worst combination you can bring <laughs> to attack a base like this. You should bring all bombardiers or all zookas. You should not be bringing rocket choppers. You should not be bringing cryoneers. 
those troops did not deal damage. This base, or this person finishing up the base, very nicely done by my task force. I hope you enjoyed this video, super long video. Please drop a like if you did. And also, because this was so long to make, please use code COSMIC in the shop to help support us. It really does help us. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.